Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 were both hated by many Windows users back around their release date, myself included. I haven't used any form of Windows 8 in years, so now I'm going to install it to what would have been some pretty good hardware back in 2013, and I'm going to use it for a bit in 2023 to see how good it actually was and if it's still usable. The overall concept of Windows 8.1 was supposed to be a tablet interface meant for touchscreen devices, but most devices, like desktops or existing laptops, were definitely not touchscreen, and using a mouse with Windows 8 felt like a complete afterthought, since the entire start menu was designed around a touch-based interface. I'm going to run Windows 8.1 on this 2011 MacBook Pro, which has a Core i5 2nd Gen, 8GB of RAM, and an SSD and we're going to see how it performs in general. As you probably know, MacBooks don't have touchscreens, so using this will be like any other laptop from around that time which didn't have a touchscreen. The first thing I noticed when I started using Windows 8.1 after I finally got it installed and got all the drivers installed was that there were multiple different apps for basic things. For example, there were two versions of Internet Explorer. One is optimized for tablet use, and one is optimized for computer usage, like desktop usage. The tablet optimized version is pretty bad, with missing features and a UI that is designed around touchscreen usage. It reminds me of the old Windows Phone UI, and honestly, on a computer, it has no place being like that. They should have just had the normal Internet Explorer browser, and whenever you're in tablet mode, it transformed into a tablet browser. And it just seems like it's trying to be something it's not, for one. And for two, it just seems like it's kind of making it harder for people who use it as a computer and not a tablet to use the entire OS. There's also a lot of tablet apps that force into full screen when you're in the desktop UI. This could easily get very annoying. And when you're not expecting the apps to go into full screen, you don't want them to go into full screen. The full screen apps have a way of multitasking, but it's built for tablets again, and it only has the option for two apps at a time on the display from what I can tell, and even getting it into that kind of dual screen, um, split screen multitasking mode is kind of hard because whenever you hover around the left corner of the display, uh, the top left corner of the display, it will show you a preview of your desktop. So you have to kind of work around that, and once you get used to it, it's not that hard. I got used to it very quickly, but it's just something that shouldn't be an issue, and it wouldn't be an issue if this entire full screen app thing was not really a feature, because it makes no sense why you would want full screen apps on a desktop with no way to kind of resize the windows, because it just kind of takes the entire point of a desktop, and it's like, why don't you just buy an iPad at that point? because an iPad would do all of those apps much better, even for the time. Whenever I go to an iPad on iOS 6, it just seems like that did a better job at being a tablet than any of these Windows 8 surfaces did. The start menu is also very stupid, because it makes it harder to find stuff, harder to search, and it makes the entire OS a lot slower to use in general. People who were fluent using Windows 7 or anything below that would probably have a tougher time using Windows 8 since it changed the old start menu into this full screen menu, which made no sense on anything without a touchscreen. The entire concept of this OS is to be used with tablets, like the Surface, which Microsoft made. But most computers that were out before Windows 8 had a normal mouse without a touchscreen. This MacBook included. Every laptop that I have, except for one, is just normal laptop without a touchscreen, and that one laptop that I do have was made in like 2021, so that's very very well into Windows 10. Now on to something a bit better, performance. It seemed about fine. Unlike Windows Vista would have been on slightly older hardware, like I tested in early 2022, but the Windows tablet apps seemed to stay open in the background even when I closed them out. I could see this in Task Manager, and I don't know why it does this but it just kind of seems like a waste of the resources of the computer. And I think that this would have got really annoying if I was using Windows 8 back in 2013 or whenever. This was also around the time that the Microsoft Store was being pushed, which was Microsoft's way of getting you to download things from their servers instead of through a website like you traditionally would. The Microsoft Store is still being used today, but even after Microsoft's many attempts to get people to switch to the Microsoft Store, I still don't see the Microsoft Store being used by people on Windows 10 or Windows 11, and I can see why. 
it's much easier and honestly quicker to just find the website of whatever you want to download and just download it from there. This was also around the time where they wanted to integrate everything with the Xbox One, which was their most recent console, and that failed. Microsoft ended up having to redesign the Xbox One's interface multiple different times, and they finally settled on a design around like 2016 or 2017. In the first design, I actually really liked. It was kind of like Windows 8.1, but it made sense. The second design, I, I can't even remember, even though I was using the Xbox One every day when that design was recent. In the third design, which I believe is the most current design, I really couldn't care for. I still have to use it on the Xbox Series, and it's just there. It works, but I still really like the original design for the Xbox One. I actually did use Windows 8 back when it was current. I had a Lenovo P400 Touch around 2013 to late 2015, and it was a bad experience for the most part on Windows 8. The hardware of the laptop was pretty good. I really liked that laptop's design and everything around that, but the entire OS itself felt slow, and the tablet interface was confusing even on a touch-based device. And it made no sense why I had to go through the Microsoft Store to download basic apps, but then I also had to go and download apps through Chrome or whatever browser I was using. And Mac OS was doing pretty great at the time, and I always used my Mac whenever I could instead of the Lenovo laptop. I honestly wouldn't recommend anyone use this OS in 2023, especially because it just got discontinued for security updates, but anyway, it, it just makes more sense to use Windows 10 or Windows 11 or something like that because I've never seen anything where a computer could run Windows 8 but not Windows 10. Everything that runs Windows 8, for me at least, runs Windows 10, and I've messed around with a lot of old computers, but at this point, you probably would have had to upgrade your computer if you're running something from like Windows XP. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be appreciated. If you want to see more content like this, you can subscribe, and goodbye.